Hi, in the previous lecture we have seen everything we need in our UI file. Now, we have a full UI which we can see day-to-day -day operations, treat with books, treat with users, treat with settings like adding categories, authors, and the publishers. We can even change our themes from our, our UI. And now it's the time that we connect this UI to our Bison code and creating our database and connecting to it and start adding information from our UI to our database and so on. So in this lecture, we will connect this UI to our Python code. First of all, I'm going to use PyCharm Community Edition. If you need to install PyCharm on your machine, you will type PyCharm in Google search, then you will open the download page. You have two options to use PyCharm. First of all, the first one is the Community Edition. It's kind of a limited one, but it's, it's very good in desktop applications and the professional one for development, especially for web development like Angular, Django, Pyramid, web to buy and so on. In this course, I'm going to use the Community Edition. It's free. You can download it from here, depending on your operating system. So, let's start. I'm going to open by charm from file. I'm going to hit open. Then, I'm going to open my project. After you open your project, make sure that you have your Python or project interpreter to the Python interpreter which you installed by QT5 before. In Mac or if you are using Mac, I think Anaconda is the best way for you. I'm using it and it came already pre-installed with by QT5. So let's create a new file here, right click new Python file. I'm gonna call this file index sorry index yeah and here I'm gonna make the font bigger than this the font let's see yeah like this so first of all we need to import the by qt5 main libraries we have three libraries so I'm gonna see from by qt5 dot qt core import asterisk then from by qt5 dot Qt GUI import asterisk and sorry and from by Qt5 dot Qt widgets and this is the new module on by Qt5 import asterisk then we will import sys shortcut for system library now we've imported the main three libraries we need to import our design if we need to connect this UI file to our Python code we have to convert this file to a Bison file. But there's another way, a very good way to treat with this UI without converting it. Because if we convert this file to a Bison code, then we needed to change anything in our UI file. We have to reconvert it to a Bison and reconnect it to our Bison code. But if we connected it using glue UI method, we will be enabled to edit whatever we need in our UI file. And when we save this file, everything will be okay you you don't have to convert it to a bison file so let's do this first of all we're gonna say from by q to five dot uic onboard load ui type we're gonna use this method to open our file so here i'm gonna say uh, ui library or let's say ui comma underscore equal to underscore. then we will type load ui type this takes ui file from us so we're gonna say load ui type and we will give it our library library dot ui yeah make sure that the index file and the ui file in the same directory so now let's create our main class class mean app this class, if you remember, when we created our UI file, we created a queue main window or a main window. So first of all, the first parameter will be queue main window. And if you create it using a queue widget, you will write queue widget. And if it's a queue dialog, you will write queue dialog, and so on. Then the second parameter is our UI file. So we will type UI. And here, we will define our constructor. 
then we will see q mean window dot init yeah. like this now we've initiated our constructor let's run our or the main method in this ui file and this method is self let's set up ui self okay now let's create our main function so we got the mean and this function first of all we will take an object from q application and the q application takes system with ergv as a parameter every application every app we create is a q application and this q application consists of many widgets whether it whether it's q main window q widgets q dialog or whatever so let's take an object from our class window equal to q mean sorry mean app then we will say window dot show and we will use it create the main loop of our project app dot exec yeah and here let's define our main function like this and we would say mean so now when we run our app it will run from here this is the first line the main and we can see this the run sign in here I so let's hit run right click run index now we should see our ui file and but we got an error no module named icons rc this happens because we use a qrc file so we need to convert this file to a bison file with this name so i'm gonna copy this and from view i'm gonna open the terminal tool view terminal when you install by q 5 it came with some tools in, the, in this situation we will use by ur byr yeah byr cc5 byr that's clear but let's take this copy byr cc5 then we will give it our rc file icons dot qrc then dash o for output then we will give it the name which came in the error icons underscore rc so we'll say icons rc dot by now let's hit enter and we've got new file with name of we should get this file actually so yeah we got a new file, file names icons underscore rc to b1 now let's run our index file again and now we can see our window we can move from one tab to another and so on so we need to connect this buttons every button with this with a tab we need to disable this tab board we need to hide this theme and we need to do a lot of stuff but first of all we need to design our database so that we can insert that and so on so on the next lecture we will start by designing our database then we will connect our database in our Python code then we will start by changing the themes and so on okay see you next lecture if you have any questions leave it in the question section and if you like the course please share your opinion with me in rating review if you face any problem send me a message I'm always here to help you See you next lecture.